Have at it boys means that NASCAR is fine with having their drivers pop off every now and then. But the engines? That's another matter entirely. One of the many changes NASCAR has made for restrictor plate tracks this year has to do with a small but very important part of the cooling system called a pop-off valve. The cooling system moves heat from the engine to the radiator. It's basically a length of metal tubing. Well, let's take that length of metal tubing, fill it up with water, and seal it shut. Then let's heat it up to, oh, about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists have a technical name for this. It's called a bomb. When pressure builds up inside the cooling system, something has to give. Without a pop-off valve, what gives is likely to be the cooling system. A pop-off or pressure relief valve is normally shut. The increasing water temperature in the cooling system increases the pressure. As soon as the pressure reaches a pre-designated value, the valve opens, releasing steam and water. As soon as enough steam and water have escaped to decrease the pressure below the valve's limit, the valve closes. You can pick a pop-off valve to open at any pressure. Some teams had been running their cooling systems at pressures as high as 80 psi. Why? Because the boiling point of water changes with pressure. At atmospheric pressure, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But as the pressure increases, so does the boiling temperature. At a pressure of 50 psi, the boiling temperature is almost 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The higher the pressure, the longer you can run without the water in your cooling system changing to steam, which means you can keep your engine cooler for longer. Well, in 2011, NASCAR made a rules change and lowered the pop-off valve pressure to 33 psi. That corresponds to 279 degrees Fahrenheit. After Daytona testing in January 2012, they lowered it even more to 25 psi. That lowers the boiling temperature of water to 267 degrees Fahrenheit. As with all the other rules changes, the idea is to make the engines get hotter more quickly, which in turn will make it harder to run in a two-car draft without overheating an engine. Now if they could just come up with something that would make it harder for drivers to overheat their tempers.